Our minds are overwhelmed with external stimulation. And for any creative process to activate, we need introspection and the ability to shut down the noise. In this video, I explain why you need to journal in the morning as an artist to be the most creative. You definitely need to journal in the morning if your first thought when you wake up is to look for your phone and scroll through social media or check your email or check the news. You do not want to put so much information in your brain the first thing when you wake up. As artists, we are constantly engaged in constant active observation. I know this for my own self. I am constantly sketching everything around me in my brain. I always have so many ideas that just keep visiting me. This process never ever stops. You might be thinking that when you wake up, you wake up with your mind blank and ready to roll. That is really not the case. I am personally thinking of, oh, what did I dream about? Maybe I'm sketching my own dream already. Maybe I'm thinking about my further plans that I was discussing with someone else yesterday. And I'm pretty sure that most people are like that. We are trying to be active and on all the time. But in reality, for you to be creative and more mindful of your own, you really need to empty your glass, and I mean our brain, before you fill it in with something new. You may also not realize that you may be in a certain mood already when you wake up, and that can come from anywhere. So what I really suggest you do here is you should take a notebook and start morning journaling tomorrow so you can be more aware, more happy, and more creative as an artist. So what you need for journaling is an actual physical notebook. It needs to be a journal of a larger format. It needs to be sturdy enough. And the reason why I'm talking about the actual physical notebook is because if you try to journal on your phone, the temptation to check out Instagram or Facebook or any other social media that you are using is just so prevalent, it is so there, then you will likely find yourself distracted and scrolling instead of actually writing. Also, when you journal, you are trying to connect your subconscious mind and your conscious mind. And in order to do that, you need a physical object because your conscious mind only operates on physical plane, on something it can touch and feel. It is not entirely in the world of ideas. And you are trying to bring out your ideas down on paper. This will actually help you concentrate and be present comparing to typing on the phone. Find a journal that you like and dedicate it to your morning mindfulness practice. If you find yourself scared of the blank page and it's hard for you to begin writing, at the beginning of your journey, it might be useful to just use some lists. The one that you see right here is the list of my favorite things. I am also including some of the other prompts that you might find helpful. Here are some prompts for the morning. Today I dreamt of. This thing keeps bugging me. Today I really need to. I am thinking a lot about why do I keep thinking about my mind has so many things. I see white flowers out of my window. I did not sleep well. My biggest concern is this is how I want it to be. If you are in love with decorating, it is a wonderful practice to make your journal more inviting. However, I encourage you to schedule a separate time for decorating specifically and dedicate your morning to simply writing. Another 
Another thing you need is a timer. It's so easy for our brains to just doze off or go to La La Land. It happens to me all the time. So what you need to do is just time yourself for however many minutes you have in the morning. It can be 10, it can be 15, it can be 30. Really, it depends on you. But time yourself and you know that for this particular period of time, you're doing nothing but journaling and just go with the flow. And the last piece of advice here is set up space. Once you start journaling, it will be very, very tempting to start thinking that, oh, I really want to make it into something fruitful and productive, and I want to get something out of it. Really, the only thing you want to get out of it is actual journaling. So if you really are that person who is trying to come up with new ideas all the time and generate ideas, set up some space on the other side of your notebook, somewhere maybe in the back. Just in case if you have a eureka moment, you're like, oh, I need to write this down and I'm supposed to be journaling right now, write that one sentence right there you can come back to it later. But for that particular period of time, what I want you to do is just to keep journaling and keep writing whatever it comes to mind. Even if it's something like, I do not know what to write. Today I woke up and I'm grumpy and I do not know what I'm gonna do and I don't know where to get coffee and this is all I'm gonna write in this stupid journal for the next 15 minutes. Even that's what it is, that's what needs to go in there. You are putting down your mood in letters, in words, you are draining it down, and it will feel really good when you're done. Click here if you want to check out another video on how to set up your space and organize your art studio. And I do have another video right here that you can click on that talks about me sketching outside. And if you are one of those people who are practicing mindfulness outside, this is the one for you. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video.